I'm Rachel, and Y2K gave me nightmares. Dun -dun -dun, dun -dun 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 -dun. Every day this October, I am reviewing a classic horror movie that I have never seen before. Full disclosure, I cover my eyes during the scary part, so I might miss a few things, but that's not a big deal. Movie number three, Friday the 13th, part two. We open on a small boy singing Itsy Bitsy Spider. We hear Jason's catch noise. <laughs> Inside a house, the original final girl from Friday the 13th is having a flashback nightmare about Mrs. Voorhees and her blue sweater. The main villain of the first one wears a blue cable knit sweater. The flashback is a full six minutes of this 80 minute movie. Alice showers with the door open and they do a psycho fake out. She opens her fridge to feed a stray cat and... <laughs> Five years later, a young couple, Jeff and Sandra, stops at a gas station to call their friend Ted. A guy who sounds like Droopy Dog tells them they're doomed. Ted pranks them by towing their car. Classic Ted. They're not going to Camp Crystal Lake, they're going next to Camp Crystal Lake. We meet the other counselors, Scott, Terry, Mark, Vicky, Paul, and Ginny. Paul tells the women to keep clean when they're on their periods. He also tells an exposition ghost story about the legend of Jason. Classic Ted wears a mask and scares everyone. Droopy Dog tries to warn them about Jason, but... <laughs> Sandra and Jeff sneak off to Camp Crystal Lake, but get caught by a cop. He takes them back, but spots Jason running in the woods. Paul, Ginny, and Ted go to town to get drunk. Everyone else stays back at camp. Terry half-heartedly looks for her dog muffin, but mostly gets naked to go swimming. Scott steals her clothes and... <laughs> Terry finds Scott, and we never see her again. Mark, who is in a wheelchair, keeps telling Vicky that he's training, but never tells her for what. Vicky changes into her underwear and then goes outside. It's raining. Mark goes to look for her, ch -ch -ch -ah -ah -ah, and gets pushed down a hill. Jeff and Sandra have sex. Vicky comes back inside with perfectly dry hair, and we see Jason's head for the first time. He's wearing this goofy burlap sack on his head. Oh, ch -ch -ch -ah -ah -ah. Ginny and Paul return to camp, leaving Ted to flirt with a bartender. Ginny is the only woman in this movie whose hair gets wet. They find Jason... There's a chase. Ah! It's Benny Hill in the forest. She stumbles upon a shrine to Mrs. Voorhees' head and puts on the blue sweater from the first movie. She tries to trick Jason into thinking she's his mom. It almost works. Paul reappears from nowhere. There's a whole thing, and then Paul and Ginny go back to camp. There's a noise at the door, but it's just Muffin and Jason. Chicha. Somehow, Ginny survives. Paul is probably dead. Ted is presumably alive and dating that bartender. Classic Ted. Overall, I rate this two out of five stars. The original one takes place on Friday the 13th for sure, but I don't know about the date in this one. Could have used a calendar. Tune in tomorrow for movie number four. Choo -choo.